Okay, ladies, so it's time for some summer hair. So here we go. This is the Bobby Boss half wig, and she is called Echo in the color 427. It does have combs in the front, the back, and an adjustable strap, and she is a very loose, wavy type of style. You girls know I love some loose, wavy hair, so of course I had to do it up with this half wig right here, which is available at ebonyonline.com. That website has been around forever. So let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to use some bobby pins to secure my sides because of course with any half wig, there aren't any combs on the sides. So to prevent my wig from slipping back, I'm going to just hold it down with some bobby pins. Finger comb this baby out. You really don't need to finger comb too much because she is kind of full straight out the package. And of course you do need some hair for a half wig. You do need to leave some of your natural hair out throughout the front perimeter that way you'll be able to wear it properly so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and kind of like situate my hair I'm going to be using my strand maximizer hair building fibers this is just like the topic and their tiny little hairs this is going to help my hair blend in a lot better because my hair is thinner in the front and of course all wigs are much thicker than our own hairline and just to hold my hair in place one of my favorite hairsprays Aussie Instant Freeze in the aerosol can. Now just to keep my hair in place as well and help it blend I'm going to be using a hairpin. Not a bobby pin but a hairpin. A hairpin is a lot thinner, they blend better with your hair and they're more movable, more flexible. And just to hook me up with a little bit more thickness to my edges I'm going to go back into that strand maximizer along with my hairspray and I'm just going to brush it in place. This wig is actually really pretty and it's nice to do half wigs because for one it's hot outside and not all of us want to walk around with a full wig on especially during the heat if you're living somewhere where it gets about 120 degrees like here in Arizona then yes I try to have or allow my scalp to breathe as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with my hair in the front and I'm just going to use some hair um, hair pins and I'm going to do or as you see I've already styled it and kind of like the flip over method because I didn't do a part for this one. I just thought it would be really cute in the flip over. You don't always have to have a part. Most of the time I do a lot of parts but this time around I'm not. This is really an inexpensive unit and like I said ebonyonline.com has been around for quite some time. So yes you guys, filling this hair, really really cute, going to hook me up some more edges with that strand maximizer and I'll post the information below where you can get the strand maximizer from. But other than that, really simple, it does come in a variety of colors but I think the 427 is rather really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get on to the finished look. Okay ladies, so this was a super quick, easy half wig. This is by Bobby Boss. Bobby Boss called Echo and this is their trendy wig line. It's supposed to be like a full cap wig, but of course you do need to pull some hair out because this is a half wig. So the color that I have is in the F427 and she is available at ebonyonline.com. This website has been around for like ever, so they do have a lot of different choices as well as that as they do have cosmetics as well but yes this one is very very cute so summer like because for one you don't have to constrict your whole entire head with a full cap you can breathe your scalp can breathe so first of all the first thing that I used in this was the strand maximizer just to thicken my edges up a little bit and the color I have is a dark brown and I'll post where you can get this from as well they're just like tiny little hair fibers and they're just called strand maximizer hair building fibers it's the same thing as topic which I also use so it's very very similar but the color blended so well and this time around I did leave enough leave out so if you want to put a part in this I would highly suggest pulling enough leave out for your part but I just decided to do the flip over method because I thought it was so cute and sexy for the summer waves the summer hairstyle look the color is very pretty and for it to be synthetic the color is really really cute normally I try to stick to like number twos when it comes to synthetic or like a 1B 
um, and then like another color, but more or less the roots have to be dark. This for me. one you can do like many different things with it. If you want to pull it in an updo, you can, but you will need to make sure that you're leaving enough hair out on the sides, basically around the perimeter of your hairline. So it does come with one comb going across the top, which I like this comb a lot better opposed to like the other halfway combs that are all plastic. This one is the metal one. It just slips in a lot better and it's more comfortable. It does have the adjustable straps. You can't do like a ponytail, ponytail with it as in a drawstring because there's no drawstrings. It's just the adjustable strap in the back. But I'm pretty sure if you pulled it tight enough and just suggest um, kind of like Played around with it, you could probably get it into a nice updo or a ponytail. But I do like this one. As far as it being synthetic, does the hair look realistic? It does. It will mimic actual human hair. It's not really silky, shiny synthetic. It's more or less like a human hair kind of look and feel to it. So this one is really, really passable for those of you who are wondering, well, I want to get something that's affordable. I don't want to spend money on like human hair or virgin hair. Then I would highly suggest Echo. So yes, ladies, on ebonyonline.com, you can check them out. They are all over the web and they've been around for quite some time. But I do like her. This was really easy for me. I just put it on, play with my hair a little bit, and that was about it. Um... The one thing I will highly suggest, when you're wearing a half wig, of course, there are no combs on the sides. So I will get a bobby pin and put a bobby pin on each side right about here. So that way your half wig does not, you know, slip back. And as well, I did use some hair pins in the front. Hair pins are these, which are more open and they're thinner um, than actual bobby pin. These will actually help your hair blend better. So if you're worrying about your hair staying in place and blending with the half wig, I would highly suggest getting yourself a nice little package of hair pins and just slip them in. You can either slip them in the front where your hair is at and the wig is at so that way it will blend and your hair will stay in place. You won't be able to see with the hair pins or you can just stick them wherever out you feel that is necessary. But yes, you can check out Echo online at ebonyonline.com. I'll post all the information for you girls yeah. below. Let me know what you think of this one. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I'll see you guys on my next video.